Hey everybody, how's it going? I uh, just want to do a quick little video on plastic glue that I utilize. This is Model Master liquid cement for plastic models. And it comes in a uh, packaging like this with two little metal things that are used to clean the inside of the applicator in case it gets um, in case it gets clogged. I never had a problem with that, but it's nice that they include those. And um, pretty much this is for plastic to plastic only. Uh, anything else, plastic to resin, plastic to uh, pewter, pewter to pewter. Anything else that's not plastic to plastic, you need super glue for. Which you would use something like zapping up here, which I think I've done a video on already. If not, I can do a video on it in the future. I will say here, for super glue, when you're gluing resin to resin, dry fitting is always important, but definitely make sure you dry fit that because resin with super glue, it takes very well and it forms a bond, it seems almost instantaneously. So uh, it's a very strong bond. So make sure you get it where you want it. Anyway, back to the plastic glue. This Model Master liquid cement for plastic models is nice. Uh, it comes with a very nice uh, applicator tip. Uh, it doesn't really make the models that stringy, as you saw the strings there in the video, uh, unless you kind of pull the pieces apart after you, after the glue kind of sets. But I never had a problem with webs or strings on the model, because once I um, put the glue on the model, I put the pieces together and I don't remove them, so it doesn't create any of the webs. Uh, this stuff, you would apply kind of like liquid cement, and the way the directions tell you to do it is the way I normally do it. Anyway, you take one part, put some glue on it, take the other part, sandwich two together, hold it until it takes, and then it takes a couple hours to dry. A couple hours to dry. This is a very permanent gluing solution. By that I mean um, it's going to partially melt the plastic together. It's basically welding the two pieces together. So uh, you definitely want to make sure you get it where you want it before you really set the pieces together because once it sets you're going to have a harder time breaking the pieces apart where the join was. But it's a very strong bond so you don't have to worry about pieces really breaking off the model if it falls. Um, the reason I like plastic glue, and I may have talked about plastic glue before, is that uh, it doesn't stick to you. Meaning if I got super glue, let's say on my shirt sleeve, didn't realize it, and the shirt sleeve was pushed against my skin, it would glue the shirt to my skin. Not the end of the world, this takes a little bit to get, uh, get the pieces separated. I mean, a little bit of pain, but nothing that bad really. Um, but with the plastic glue and this plastic uh, liquid cement for plastic models, if you get anything that's not plastic, it won't glue it to anything else. So you don't have to worry about your fingers being glued together or your hand being glued to the table or anything like that because it only works on plastic to plastic. Uh, it will mar the surface of your model. So if you get some of it on the surface of your model by accident um, and you catch it right away, you can wipe it down real quick and hopefully it won't do anything. But once it starts to set, it will um, mar the surface of your model if you kind of try to wipe it away. Or if, let's say you got some on your fingertips when you're holding the model together, didn't realize it, and you let go, it'll leave a little bit of a burn mark of your fingerprint on there. Uh, so just be careful. It takes a little bit um, more patience and being a little bit more careful with it than, let's say, super glue, which still can mar the surface, but not as easily as this thing can. But really, it's, I would say, a small drawback for basically from gluing plastic to plastic is a very nice, um, secure way to do it. You don't have to worry about it gluing to anything else by accident. Like with super glue, I once glued the part I wanted to the model, but then it also got stuck, I think, because I let I put it down on the on the table too too uh, quickly. It also glued itself to the table. So luckily, I was able to salvage the model without any damage. But um, just be careful with that. But with plastic glue, you don't have to worry about that. So. That's why I like it, and as somebody who is a big fan of plastic miniatures and utilizing them, um, this gets a lot of use. But like I said, it's only for plastic to plastic, so plastic to resin or anything else to anything else, you're going to need super glue. Uh, so this is great for Games Workshop, or maybe the plastic from Privacy or Press, or anything that's plastic. But anything forgeable, for example, this won't work on. So just some food for thought I guess. 
though I talk about it a little bit. This is my plas liquid cement for plastic models that I utilize from Model Master. Um, and my super glue, like I think I said before, is Zappagap. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully that was useful to somebody. And until next time, take it easy.